HIV and AIDS affects everyone around the world. Globally, 0.8% of the population has HIV or AIDS. This is 34 million people in our world's population. In Northern Africa, 0.2% of the population has HIV or AIDS. In Southern Africa, 5% of the people live with HIV and AIDS. And in our own continent, North America, only 0.6% of people are affected with this disease. Human immunodeficiency virus, commonly referred to as HIV, is one of the most deadly diseases in the world. HIV weakens the immune system as it destroys a defense cell called the CD4 helper lymphocyte. These lymphocytes are essential for the body's immune system as they help fight infections. HIV is a serious disease because there is still no cure. People can contract HIV from swapping bodily fluids. It can be transmitted from having unprotected sexual intercourse. Sharing needles such as drugs, steroids, or tattoos. Or if a pregnant woman has HIV, it can be passed on to her newborn baby before birth, during the birthing process, or from breastfeeding. HIV and AIDS are related because HIV causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. People with HIV often have symptoms such as the following. Extreme weakness or fatigue, heavy sweating at night, trouble remembering things, swollen lip glands, rapid weight loss, frequent fevers and coughs, chronic diarrhea, and white spots in the mouth. The issue of HIV and AIDS ties into the seven Catholic social teachings, specifically life and dignity of the human person. People living with HIV and AIDS often face discrimination and judgment, which weakens the person's dignity. Everyone needs to respect and support those living with this disease. We need to promote healthy relationships. This means that in a relationship, we must be honest with our partner about HIV and AIDS. This also can tie into not participating in recreational sex and only using it for the purpose of procreation. Another Catholic social teaching that ties in with HIV and AIDS is solidarity. We are all brothers and sisters, and we are all connected because we are all created by God. God wants us to treat each other as equals, regardless of geography, race, or HIV and AIDS. We practice solidarity when it matters to us that people die of preventable diseases because they are born in Africa, not North America. Social action is a big part of preventing the spread of HIV and AIDS. The charity side to social action can be practiced by sending doctors and medicine over to those who can't afford it or don't have access to medical treatment. But just a side to social action is just as important because HIV is a long-term problem where we all need to work together to find a solution to end HIV and AIDS. Two Catholic traditions that tie into this deadly disease are from encyclical Evangelia Vitae, written by John Paul II. It says, Today this proclamation is especially pressing because of the extraordinary increase and gravity of threats to the life of individuals and peoples, especially where life is weak and defenseless. In addition to ancient scourges of poverty, hunger, endemic diseases, violence, and war, new threats are emerging on an alarmingly vast scale. John Paul explains in his encyclical that the world is going through many negative changes, such as endemic diseases, which would include HIV and AIDS. The Bible verse from Matthew 10 verse 8 says, Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. It can be summarized that we must help the sick and not expect to be paid in return because we should be expected to give freely. HIV and AIDS is a worldwide disease and we must support and protect those who are living with it, as well as preventing the spread of HIV and AIDS.